Well, boss, where are we at? <laughs> well, I did say on the last live or last quick video that uh, we're taking a trip. This year, we're going to start doing a little more traveling. And yes, we're still staying on public land. Just not in Pennsylvania right now. Uh, we happen to be south of the Mason-Dixon, just across into Maryland. And this is our first foray into uh, getting in to the Maryland public land system. And we're in parts unknown, but just across the border. Lots of side pocket openings. Figuring a lot of deer coming off of this this mound and using this strip of woods in between all these fields we're seeing a lot of openings coming out possibly at some point obviously don't know when they would use it more possibly more like nighttime evening time and really really early morning but we're seeing a lot of these openings that they would come out and use probably traveling to and from up the mountain and in between these fields this good time we're at though. so far probably about 400 yards or so off the road came up from the bottom down there that's towards the road and towards the marshier stuff but we hit one field already that was clear cut probably a month or two ago not recent and then we have a field behind the camera mm -hmm. and what we see is one path cutting right through these two lines of trees so basically we have an intersection right here where this path has been blazed open just for a preliminary setup, whether it be a chair or throw some wild edge steps up in a tree. I would park myself right here at the beginning of the season, something I can tear down easy and move and basically watch this whole intersection. I mean, you've got 60 yards open there, 60 yards behind the camera, and then everything coming out of this brush on this here is just wide open I mean probably got 50 yards across and I can already pick up multiple openings there's where one these right are there let's see if I can see it from here you can see it right there you can see a trail coming out right there sorry see a trail coming out right in between there and that's just a straight shot right here to where behind us now about 15 yards 20 yards is our dropping pile and I mean it just goes to show these deer are just coming through here traveling through hitting this cover we got some really thick heavy cover we walk next to there's water coming through the ground was really marshy so depending on the rain from day to day I could bet some of those uh, little trickles turn into brooks and we got cover you got water all we need now is to find where the food is and we got the triangle set but look at this now i got pretty sizable hands guys and look at that and then going back look at that that's just that's monstrous that's that's three four inches long it's either and, a whopper doe or a nice buck oh my gosh it's 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 a big mama or, or a nice nice buck but we're gonna head over behind us to these oaks on the corner and we'll pick up there so where we came across that field quite a ways actually and where we saw them big deer tracks but i wanted to come over here because there was a section of oaks over here right at the edge of this field this big flat field there's another field that cuts up there and got one little field that just turns off up here it's tall grass so kind of a CRP field but there's a section of wood that you see right behind here you see it loops out around here but this connects right up going right up into that mountain so they like to fall this down and either cut out into the CRP field cut along this area because this connects connects the fields cut out also got a little marsh area you want to drink water there you go and they cut out and there's tracks all along here few oaks right along here and you got the two fields now where they go from there you know that's that's figuring out they go wherever they want basically but just piecing it all together coming through finding the tracks they like walking along the field more from what we can see from the tracks obviously you know they'll cut across but they're walking up and down the field as we saw the tracks got a lot of depressions and tracks coming along which we figured which would be underneath these oaks and I'm figuring we're gonna find more of them as they lead 
either leading back into the section of woods or going up this little not logging road but road around the field which we're probably going to go up to that corner and see if we can duck into the to the woods here and start working our way up the mountain and kind of piece and if you find trails that come to and from where they meet conjunctions and a lot of that's probably where you find the conjunction of trails where we can find standpoints just like we said we no longer just drop down into this little marshy area and i mean just tracks everywhere i know camera doesn't do it justice from what we're seeing but like i said we drop down in here and there's tracks going everywhere and there's also paths leading up into this strip of woods in between the fields obviously they like to use it as like a buffer zone but i mean tons of turkey tracks too and they're just they're they're walking you can follow the tracks it's almost like a scooby-doo cartoon these tracks are rolling right up this trail here which we figured because it would lead right up into where it goes up into the mountain and into this crp field right here. where we were on that brush line i hear creaking <laughs> creaking limbs i was checking to see how close they were we ducked in right where we left you last time into the brush line yep. where we saw the first one of the trails yep, so, the fields and such were out here and we ducked right in yeah and as soon as we came in 40 yards in we found a small brook right here and that's steady running water as opposed to the runoff that we encountered right off the road as soon as we hit this brook we started seeing acorns shells and nothing but tracks coming through here and look what we got we got oak 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 dead fall back over there just up straight up through this section here i was pointing out there were so many white oaks i don't know if you can pick them out from the camera or not they just lead up going up the mountain in the section of woods that I said came down off the mountain and connected with the fields. But, I mean, you have some freestanding trees here. This would definitely be another nice spot. Like I said, um, not on this shag bark tree, but you got one or two trees that are bigger here. But that's why we tested the length of those ropes and straps when I discussed that uh, during practice last year to see how long you could go because here we have a nice beautiful tree overlooking this brook right below us plenty of thorny stuff plenty of brush but do you have a setup that can that can wrap around this i know from testing at my house that i do and this would definitely be a spot for uh two three sticks i wouldn't even have to go that far up because this brook drops off pretty much as an angle like this so from the from the brook i'm already 15 feet up with two or two sticks or possibly a third and i wouldn't even have to think twice about this for a beginning season my first choice of course the two oaks right off the field because we saw trails there second choice would be that intersection if it's a crappy day and i'm not going to stay out long we're only 200 yards into the woods but i'll tell you what if i'm here for an all dayer I would definitely plan the first half of the day out of this tree and not feel bad about it at all after seeing the tracks and trails that we saw and the amount of food water food cover there it is oh my oh my Taylor is this what you saw yep like I said we had just come from where Fred was talking about the setup in this open woods here and then we're gonna walk this parallel kind of see if you found any intercrossing trails or whatever but I started walking up here because I wanted to fall, kind of fall these white oaks up this mountain like I showed on the video. And as soon as I walked, not even 10 yards, <laughs> there's already a buck right up there. Now it's a, it's a small, small sapling, but little inch tree, that is relatively fresh. So in the last, the last six months, so there it is again, water, food, and cover. Came across another rub walking up, falling these these white oaks up to the up the mountain to the bench that I wanted to hit and uh, like I said we've been seeing tracks and rubs the whole way up through so right now it's looking promising I haven't seen any old scrapes is what I was kind of wanting to see but still seeing any kind of rubs or tracks or anything sign is good sign tons of food though yeah yeah tons tons of old old acorns and such down here so definitely pending a lot of these places for upcoming season to check back in there he is me hide i am the pin master okay we've got about 
a little over a mile hike in so far. Uh, we just continued following the white oaks up. Which is all the way from uh, down there. We've been hitting small rub after small rub, acorn after acorn, and these deer are just going. And we just passed an old logging road about, uh, about 15, 20 yards down the hill. We're approaching the first bench here. And uh, trail, the tracks are just, they're just mowing through. Absolutely mowing Came through. Came right up above the logging road right across here. It goes out probably about, what would you say, 15, 20 yards? Yeah. From this tree right here and then the uh the land does get a little rocky there's a bunch of limestone chunks through this which i'm not surprised at seeing as the amount of human activity that used to be here that's what you find especially out in western and northern pennsylvania uh, you're starting to see the same things down here where we're at so trends are definitely holding we've got cover we're still pretty much about 100 yards off of that last field that we showed you the one that was up above and we're just going to traverse this bench across to the left and uh hey, probably, we, got a, we got a hollow over here yeah, we're to our right that. <clears throat> and then head back towards uh there's a lake uh, nearby i wouldn't really call it a lake maybe a small pond and that's near our parking area so we're going to head over that direction this trip to maryland south of the mason dixon has not disappointed one bit and i can't say how awesome it is to be able to enjoy God's beautiful country out here and, and just get out and, and enjoy this. So we're going to head on up and get this last half or three quarter mile in. Only 40, 50, maybe even 60 yards apart. I'm walking up to the top of this little flat bench area and ha, no sooner walk about 20, 30 yards up onto the side here and found this whopper rub right here i mean it's fresh and it's torn and like i said he's just on the other side over there reviewing my pins um and i've got a pile i've probably got about 60 pins today so far and we're about more than halfway through our walk today and i have to say that this this place is just ripe with activity they're coming down off the mountain maybe from the other side i don't know hitting this bench and then they're sliding down there's thick stuff in there and then right below that is where you run into all the white oaks where we started when we left the field and everything's just making sense because we're seeing sign trail and deer rubs and deer scrapes all over the place so that being said definitely a well worth walk so we came off of the the bench that we were at which was swing the camera around not too fast all the way up there we dropped down to an old logging road which we were probably somewhere up in here cut across came down logging road was somewhere up in here dropped down into an old field we crossed the field and then there's this whole whole bottom branch this whole bottom down in here where the uh the woods connect with the mound and it comes in in, in the mix of all these these fields and the lake or pond or whatever you want to call it it's to our left or behind us we dropped down here and there's piles of white oaks found or finally found a rub but we've been oh my goodness i did not see that rub yep there's another one there's well, one two three right there there's a i saw a small rub in front of this one i just saw that one behind there and he said there's another one back over there Let's see where he's going. Big man's running. There's another one. He's a fresher. Let's see if he goes the same one I saw. There's three over here. Oh, there's one there. That's the one I pointed over an at. Inch wide. And then there's another one. Smaller, about three quarter, half inch wide here. So three right here. And we've been following this heck of a trail down to this bottom. And like I said, it's in the mix of all these fields. And we've been following it down here towards that pond or lake or whatever you want to call it and the sign down here is actually really really good so we're going to keep walking and see what we see we're kind of heading back to where our parking spot is a little bit but taking a different route seeing what's down in here where we came through that bottom now it's getting windy so hopefully you can hear me we come off when we went up following those white oaks up on top of the ridge 
and then hit one of them benches. I wanted to get up on the second one, but didn't quite do because it did get pretty steep up there and we were trying to make some ground, at least just get an overview of what the land is here and everything, just get an idea. And obviously we'll be back, but hit that first bench, went up above that first hollow that we had in there. And we started seeing some whopper rubs in there, and especially one that biggest prize has ever seen. Obviously I've seen some bigger rubs, but it's still a very sizable, a lot of them are very sizable. Came down, dropped on the other side of the, the hollow, coming down off of that bench, working our way down to the bottom. And that's when we hit a really thick section where there was just trails going everywhere. You could tell it looked like some deer were bedding in there and everything. So definitely probably a bedding area, temp temporary bedding area. Um, and we dropped down to an old logging road where we crossed the logging road, dropped down to a lower field back up in here and came down to this bottom section of woods that is in the mix of all these fields out here. And it's a big chunk of woods that comes out. It's a big bottom. Some of it can be swampy. There's a little brook or creek or whatever you want to call it coming through there. And walking through there, there was just trails everywhere. So we ended up coming up on a big batch of uh, white oaks in there. And right around in there is where there's a bunch of saplings and we found a lot of good rubs. I, I got some of that on video, you'll see but there was a big trail going right through, a lot of rubs, and came out to this field here where I see, I don't know if it's old corn stalks or not, and then beside it is tall grass meeting up against the woods. So I like this bottom a lot. We're definitely gonna be looking into that a lot more. Definitely up on that bench a little more because of some of the trails, that bedding up there, and some of them rubs, but I'm really liking this, this, bottom, this bottom woods, and we didn't even, do about half of it but from what I saw I really like it especially like I said in the mix of all these fields you get deer that can just jump in from a field any one of these fields and could be traveling just this big bottom section and possibly going to and from up the mountain out to the fields and such so it's definitely very very I think we're gonna close it out here definitely have to say two and a half three mile walk today we saw all kinds of sign we saw food, we saw cover, and we got plenty of water in multiple spots. So for an initial scout of a new area, once again, plenty of promise in this area. The only question that we have is how, how full of hunters is this going to be come archery season? And that's a question we can only find out with a little bit of research and talking to locals and some other friends that we uh, may have uh, to kind of see what they're seeing down here because this being our first day and we've seen this before we've seen all the sign and then come opening day we don't know where the deer are however we usually adjust and we make do with what we've got so have to say huge scout beautiful day today and man man alive i'll tell you what it just it couldn't have been a nicer hike we've got some good uphills some good downhills Nothing too sne uh, steep and uh, nobody fell, <laughs> thankfully. So, we're going to leave you with this. And we're definitely going to come back here in about a month. Once the greenery starts coming in. Till then, stay safe, stay legal, stay hydrated.